you'll see the two lines, but just trust me, they're about right through here. You can't see them here. The point is, though, you want to be outside. Of, you can either be on the right or on the left. You normally don't want to be right in the middle because it's a less likely place. That's the area that you're first <laughs> going to insert the needle in. And you realize you cannot see any veins or anything in there, so you're just what we call fishing around until you get the blood. Right. So, let's... Turtle's being good. Just, you know, kind of make a clean area for the place where the needle's going to go in. This turtle's neck is already pretty darn clean, so... So everybody's got a little different technique on how to hold this. The way I do it is uh, index finger and middle finger. See kind of the back of my, the, uh, the, the, my, my fingernail on the index is, this is the holding place and then my thumb comes over is the pulling place. So once you get the needle under the skin, you have to get some vacuum on it. So that often means a little bit of, of discomfort with your fingers because it's awkward in how you're holding it. And, uh, but you, 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 you get the needle in and then you start, you feel the vacuum is going to pull it out to about there. And all that is is vacuum on it because it has to have vacuum in order to draw blood when it, go, when it finally goes through the, the vessel the channel, the per the, where the blood is, where the blood is, okay? And sometimes it can be quite deep, sometimes it can be quite shallow, sometimes it can be more up, sometimes more down, and sometimes you've got to uh, stick the turtle several times in order to get the spot. Once you got the spot, you got to try to stay right in there and continue to draw as the blood is pulling out. A little health warning, if you when you first put the needle in, there should be no space in there uh, because if there was, that means there's air in there and when you go in, you might inject air into the turtle and you don't want to be doing that. That would be give it an embolism if it was in a vessel or something. So let's just take a chance here and see. We're going to tilt the turtle up this way to get some so, feel not going in. Usually, there's almost no pain to the turtle. The needle is in, so now I'm going to start doing some suction. See if I let go, it pops right back because there's no, there's no, no blood in there. Ah, oh my God, it came really easy. So wait, uh, hang, hang on tight. Wait, just let Whaley quit squirming around. You kind of move the, the spot on me. You find the spot again. There is the spot. I think. Just kind of wait and drawing a little bit more while it comes out, pulling back. Okay, well, that's basically it. It'll be a little leakage after you do that. Doesn't always happen that easy, but I'm happy it did. So there's your good stuff. And like I said, sometimes there'll be some leakage coming down. Don't worry about it. It's just capillary leakage. As you're drawing, you're looking for a, a red, uh, a red tinting, mm. so you know you're in some blood there. And I knew it right away. I was, but then when the turtle moved, I had to readjust to find the spot again. So, so you'd want to label this as your hawk spill. And I probably shouldn't have drawn so much, but now we've got to. Yeah, that's fine.